Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're going to talk about the exclusive Sailor Special Nib Program. Let's take a look. The Sailor Special Nib Program consists of 14 different pens, 12 of which you see here. The program is very exclusive. There are only a few dealers in the United States that carry it, and it is exclusive to brick and mortar only. Uh, what that means is you only can get them by going into a brick and mortar, testing the pens, and then ordering them there. They're not available online, you can't call in. We have them available in our Chicago location. You're gonna be amazed at uh, the broad range of nibs that they, they offer. These were originally offered a number of years ago. There were several hundred different variations in different colors, different models. They've simplified this a little bit to keep this a little more sustainable. And what we have here are 12 of the 14 options. I'll talk about the other missing two in a little bit. But basically we have Naganata Togi, and that comes in Naganata Togi medium fine, medium and broad in both gold and rhodium trim versions. If you like rhodium trim, these are the only special nibs that come in rhodium. Everything else is gold only. So we have the six Naganata Togis. We have Naganata Emperor, this is on medium fine, medium and broad. So there are three Naganata Emperors, of which we have one here. We have the Fude, the Concord, which is the reverse of the Fude, the Cross Concord, the Cross Point, and the Cross Music. So let's take a look at the pens themselves and then we'll get into some writing samples. Okay, so here is the special nib pen and there's a number of things that are different from this than the, the, the regular 1911 large. This is 1911 large size, and you can see this is the rhodium trim version, but the first thing you see, of course, is the special cap band. And it says Sailor Japan 1911 special nib. So that's kind of a large, almost a wedding band style. And as we screw this off, you'll see there's the rhodium trim. The pen also has a different stamping on the nib than the standard 1911. So it's a little simpler, a uh, little bit uh, more elegant in my opinion. It doesn't have any extra scroll work. It's got 1911, the anchor, 21 carat, and then uh, the nib designation there. So on the side here. The Naganata Togis are all marked N for Naganata Togi and then the size, medium fine, medium broad. And the other nibs, the Fude, Concord, Cross Concord, Cross Point, and Cross Music are all marked NAG for Nagahara. The Emperor is marked with the same Naganata Togi markings, but when we get into them, you'll notice there is a very, very uh, large difference. You'll notice the Emperor quite easily. So the Naganata Togi, you'll notice these long sloping Tines, low shoulders, but otherwise looks like a, a normal nib. The section is a little bit different. It has a little bit more of a step down in here and there is a metal threading unit inside the barrel. This does not fit inside a standard 1911 and vice versa. You can't put a regular 1911 section into this barrel because of this insert here. It won't fit. So they've made it so that it only fits this particular pen. Okay, so let's do a writing sample of all the nibs and we'll look at each one individually. So this is the Naganata Togi Medium Fine. This is the rhodium trim version. Now the Naganata Togi will give you a different angle the higher you hold it up. So similar to a zoom, but in an upright fashion, will be much thinner. So you can see how fine that is. If I lower the angle a little bit, it gives me a very broad, wet line. This is the medium fine. So now with the zoom, you can get multiple line variations. This is pretty much, we've got a, a nice fine and a medium fine. So not as, widely varied as a zoom. 
but still nice option there. Let's look at the medium. So a little bit broader. And in a regular writing angle, also very broad. And the final one of the Naganata Togi set, the broad. Now there are no Naganata Togi fines, just medium fine, medium and broad. So if you like a lot of ink on the page, this pen is going to be something that you're going to be able to see sheen, shading, and it's going to really put the ink on the page. Let's go over to the Emperor. Now the Emperor is very similar. It's based on the Naganata Togi. So the base nib is that same Naganata Togi and the marking on the side. Uh, NMF, NM, or NB, but of course you see this gold tab on the top here. Now what does that do? The gold tab, if you're writing very fast or using very absorbent paper, will help provide, it basically stores a little bit of ink, it help provide more ink flow to your page so that you don't have any problems. So if I'm going to write same idea here, And then in regular, so it gives you two distinct line variations. The Naganata Emperor is also available in medium and broad nib options. Next up, we've got the ever popular Naganata Fude de Manan. And this one, oftentimes people confuse with uh, a pen that is bent, a nib that is bent upwards. And this allows multiple line variation based on the angle of the pen. So similar to the zoom again, but this allows more brush strokes uh, when it gets broader. So if I hold it upright, I've got a finer line. And as I go down, I can really put the ink on the page. But as you can see, similar to a zoom, I've got a wide range of line variation. And if you want to, you can flip it upside down to make it easier to write those fine lines. So very popular, very popular option. Uh, and often uh, used for artists because you have all those different lines in one pen. Now, the Naganata Concord is basically the opposite. So if you like to write fine most of the time, but you only occasionally need to write broad, this pen is for you. So in a normal writing angle, and it's bent downward, is a real nice fine nib. Flip it upside down and it looks like a food A. But very brush stroke. Notice how it, how it acts. Now we get into the cross series. So we've got, first one up is the cross Concord. And the cross nibs all have this second layer welded on top of the original 21 karat nib. And then what they do is they, they do a, you basically you have four tines here because it's slit and you've got two layers with two tines each. So this is the Naganata Cross Concord. 
or just cross Concord. And got very extra fine here. And then if I flip it over, I've got very broad. So much broader than the standard Concorde flipped around. So this gives you, if you really like fine hairlines in your drawings, but you need this as well for filling in, this is a good option for you. You can kind of see how that points over like a, like a beak. Next up, the cross point. If you like to put a lot of ink on your page, this is the guy. Look at that. If you have an ink that's got sheen to it, this is the one you want to use for it. Again, a double layer nib. It's got a very round grind to the nib. And this just is as triple broad as you can get and very smooth. And last but not least, the cross music. Now, like the rest of the, the Sailor music nibs, this is a two-tine, not a three-tine model. It's a cross, so it has that second layer on there. But what's different about this, and if you look at this alongside the standard cross point, the first thing you're going to say is this is very similar. Very similar in appearance. It's somewhat difficult to tell the two apart. However, the grind on the cross music is ground in, so your downstrokes are thin, the stem of your note, and your cross strokes are very broad. So essentially, it's a very broad architect nib. And you'll see this. There's your downstroke, but your horizontals are very, very broad. So you can easily use it for music notation if you like. Other words, it's a great architect nib. It really gives you some nice distinct line variation in everyday writing, and it's very broad. So there you have it, the Sailor Special Nib Program. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or our stores in Appleton and Chicago. Thanks for watching.